Mark Cuban, the billionaire investor and owner of the NBA's Dallas Mavericks, recently shared his journey as an entrepreneur in a video Q&A with Wired. According to Cuban, he always knew that working for someone else wasn't his strong suit. From a young age, he started developing his sales skills through various side hustles, such as selling garbage bags door-to-door -door and giving dance lessons. However, it wasn't until his mid-twenties that Cuban took the leap and launched his first actual company, Microsolutions, a software startup. At the beginning, the business had no sales, and Cuban admitted that he felt extremely anxious. When asked if there was ever a time when he wanted to give up, Cuban responded by saying that he never considered quitting because he knew he was a terrible employee. In fact, Cuban had been fired from multiple jobs before starting Microsolutions, including a job selling business software for a store in Dallas. He had closed a big sale without informing his boss, thinking he would be praised for his initiative. Instead, he was fired on the spot. A similar incident occurred when Cuban worked for Mellon Bank in Pittsburgh. He had the idea to invite a high-ranking executive to speak to young employees at a happy hour. But his boss reprimanded him for going over his head without permission. These experiences made Cuban realize that he was not meant to be an employee. He saw himself as a know-it-all and always believed he had better ideas for how things should be done. This realization helped him persevere through the initial struggles at Microsolutions, even when the company was on the verge of bankruptcy. Cuban's past failures convinced him that his best chance at success was to be his own boss, which motivated him to stick with his first business until things turned around. Eventually, Microsolutions became successful, paving the way for Cuban's next venture, audio streaming company Broadcast.com, which was later acquired by Yahoo for $5.7 billion in 1999. Cuban attributes his success to his primary skill, sales. He believes that being great at sales means understanding what people need and want, and being able to help them. According to Cuban, salesmanship is a practical skill that can lead to success in any field once mastered. In conclusion, Mark Cuban's journey as an entrepreneur was shaped by his realization that he was not cut out to be an employee. His sales skills and determination helped him overcome the initial struggles and achieve success in his businesses.